Hello, welcome to Stackable, your all-in-one solution to building stunning websites with a WordPress block editor. Stackable version 3 comes with big changes in your workflow and a lot of new features. This video will help guide you easily migrate to Stackable version 3 coming from version 2. If you want to know what to expect in Stackable version 3, you could check out this video. Editor Workflow The first thing you should note are the blocks. Version 3 of Stackable will replace all Stackable blocks with an updated set of new blocks which are faster, more flexible, and more powerful. This is how Stackable blocks look like in version 2. And this is how the new V3 blocks look like. What happens to V2 blocks now? The good news is that Stackable's V2 blocks will still be available as long as you choose to load V2 blocks in the migration settings. Additionally, all your pages that contain V2 blocks will remain the way they were and you will still have the ability to edit them. We will keep supporting the old blocks in the foreseeable future to make sure that they perform well in the front end. Updating from version 2 to version 3. After updating your plugin, you'll automatically be redirected to the Stackable V3 onboarding wizard. From there, you'll be asked how you would like to transition your workflow when editing your pages. You will be prompted to choose among the three migration options which will allow you to transition your workflow smoothly to the new system. Use old V2 blocks, but only when editing existing posts. If you choose this option, then Stackable will only add the version 2 blocks if you are currently editing any posts or pages that consists of version 2 blocks. Whenever you edit your existing posts that have V2 blocks, you will be able to insert and edit V2 blocks while also being able to use V3 blocks alongside them. Note that if you create new posts or pages, you will then only be able to insert the new V3 blocks. So when should you use this option? Select this if you have existing posts and pages which use V2 blocks that you want to leave as is. And if you're using reusable blocks with V2 blocks that you still plan on using. Use both new V3 and old V2 blocks. If you choose this option, then both version 2 and version 3 stackable blocks will be added to your editor. It will not matter if you don't have any posts or pages that uses any version 2 blocks. So when should you use this option? Select this if you want to keep using both V2 and V3 blocks across your entire site, even for new posts and pages. Use new V3 blocks only. If you choose this option, the version 2 blocks will not be added to your editor and all of your stackable blocks will only be for version 3. It's important to note that if you currently have posts or pages that use v2 blocks, choosing this option won't affect how it looks on your site. But it will show as a block error on the back end and you won't be able to edit them. 
this is the perfect option to use if you want to only use the new V3 blocks moving forward. Have no intentions to edit your old pages or to rebuild them. It's good to note that version 3 is fully backward compatible with version 2 and you won't need to rebuild any of your web pages. Migration settings in the settings page. In any case that you need to change these settings again in the future, you can access the migration settings by scrolling to the bottom most part of the settings tab in the stackable settings page. If you want to use only V3 blocks, simply deselect the options above. And there you have it! After you finish the process of the onboarding wizard, you are all set to enjoy Stackable version 3. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you need more information regarding Stackable, feel free to join our Facebook community or visit our website.